Everybody, welcome back to the Trackmania Golden Goblet. Uh, I have no idea how we did yesterday. We are on track 22 today. Um, we did get an author medal, which is, you know, I'm not going to, mathematically, is that the best you can do? Of course not. But it's the best we could maybe hope for doing. Um, today, we're on track 22, which I have played before, but do not recall. Um, let's set a timer here. What I'm going to say about yesterday to put a cork in it, if Mal for Dan beat me, congratulations. You did an amazing job. You, you, had, to, you had to bring your A game and you must have. So give me a 15-minute uh, timer. Please. Google, it would be amazing if you could provide me with a 15-minute timer, please and thank you. That's incredible. It's, it's actually incredible. How do they do it? All right, so I, I again, I've played this course. Uh, I recall a little bit about it now that now that I look at it. I've only gotten a silver on it. Which, to me, a silver doesn't mean that I'm bad at the trek. It means that I probably played it in a context where I only had five minutes. Like, because most of the, like, online multiplayer is in five-minute intervals. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think You know what? I actually think we played this in the Northern Lion Tries, now that I think about it. So how long was this lap? 55? Okay, the only thing I'm gonna say is when I see a longer lap like that, my, uh, my preference is to just get, like, a decent lap down as soon as possible, and then we can work on, um... <clears throat> progress from that point onwards. But sometimes people, or perfection, I should say, but sometimes people wonder, hey, why do you, like, reset so often? If you hit a wall, it doesn't cost... This isn't Mario Kart, right? No offense. <laughs> it's just a different game. It doesn't cost you, like, three-tenths of a second. It might cost you the whole the whole friggin' race. So, you know, it, rather than have a, a time that's ten seconds off, why don't we just, uh, you know, at least get to the point through these sections where we got nothing to worry about, and then work on the latter half of the course following that moment, you know what I mean? So clearly here, I'm putting a little too much, yeah, I'm putting a little too much sauce on it. I, I blame that on me, but the secondary cause for blame is the first person camera, I think. Now I did, uh, I, I clipped a wall there, but... You know, the, the slight clipping, I know it seems contrary to what I just said. The slight clip doesn't bother me that much if we could at least take some time to learn the rest of the elements. Admittedly, it's always going to be better to finish the course with a bad time than to get a DNF. But we are not going to DNF. We could always just, you know, if we're going to put down a crappy lap just to get a score, <laughs> we'll do it, uh... We'll do it closer to 15 minutes, not right at the, off the jump, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. There's got to be something here that I'm missing. Just got to go slightly more to the left. I'm telling you, I think there's going to be some divisive opinions about these tracks. Um, in the, you know, in the discourse of the Golden Goblet community, both drivers and uh, viewers. I think that... Uh, they, the tracks get much more ambitious. Let's put it that way. They get much more ambitious closer to the end. Okay, okay, we made it through that one. And then you just gotta choose the right vector here. We went a little high. If you, you, you can't really adjust your position so much when you're on those sort of, uh, you know, mid-air corners. So you're really stuck with whatever your, your entry vector is. So I exit to the right here. And then this, you can, you got maximum torque on that one. That's beautiful. Good, good enough, good enough. And then just keep it going. We're a little high again. Yep, I could, I could tell coming into it, we were a little high. Because on the, you know, on concrete, that might have been fine. But on dirt, you're going to slide a little bit as you head up to the top. So this is one, I would say, you know, get ready. We're, we're in the trenches on this one. But it's also one where one decent lap could send you into the stratosphere. Like, that was very solid. Better. Not perfect, but better. Okay, still solid. Very nice. 
And then just stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good lap. This is a very good lap. <laughs> Only gold is kind of surprising to me. I, I we, we cut three seconds off there, but that's pretty good. There's This is a course. There's a lot of elements you can screw up. I'm not going to say we were perfect. I, I will say, though, and this is sincere, I don't really know where we're going to pull the time from. Usually, I would say a run of that level is, is good enough for the author medal on, on some of these tracks, but... Like, I, I definitely think there's room for us to grow there. I wonder, though, if there isn't, like, a shortcut on this map somewhere. Oh, we're going, we're going over. Oh, the other thing is, we might only be slightly off of the author medal, so let's not get uh, too tilted about it. Like, we, we might only be, like, a tenth off. Even a second off, there's... I think we can pull from that. This is, like, we're not doing very well on this corner. That was so much better than usual. And then this one's always tricky. It's really the, the exit at the bottom. I think that was pretty solid. Good enough. This part, you just gotta... Just give her. Oh! You gotta be a little bit more to the left. You gotta be a little bit more to the left on that one. But still... You could tell... First five minutes or so, things were looking dicey, things were looking scary. Is he even going to finish a lap? Now? Oh, baby. Now we're in there. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, stick to the line. I'm Discord and Rhyme. I'm on the hunt. I'm after you. Mouth is alive with juices like wine. And I'm... Hungry like the wolf. A beautiful exit. Oh, just came out. I, I overcorrected way too much there. But every single time we fail on a corner, we learn something. We learn something. And that's the important part. I did drive over the grass for a microsecond there. And you can see how much it cost us, dude. Oh, and I let go of the throttle for a microsecond there. So we're a half a second down. But I think there's room to grow. I think that's there's room to grow right there. That was very good. Then don't overcorrect. That was very good. I didn't see any sparks. Oh, did I did I clip the wall? I think I clipped the wall. But you know what? We can we can keep it going just to just to learn something. Can we stay on here? No. Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. We're getting there though. We are getting there. Like, that's the... That's the line, apparently. Saves you... A tenth. Roughly. Then just grip it and rip it. <clears throat> then you gotta believe. This is just where you gotta believe. I think we lost a little speed there. My wheels didn't land super flush, so... We'll be okay with that. We're a little lower on the curve, which is where we want to be right here, because we lost some speed on our ghost. And then here, you don't overcorrect. You just, you're learning the elements. That was a very smooth exit. And then just don't clip the wall. We were, we were doing so well. We're, we're only like halfway into the video here. We, we're, we're learning. We, I'm not saying we got every element perfect. I'm just saying we got every element acceptable. That one, maybe a little bit less so for the time being. <laughs> that time, I gotta admit, I was looking at the clock. Just drove straight into the wall. These things are a little bit more responsive on the throttle than the 2015 Ford Focus. I gotta be honest. Well, I don't know, sometimes the 2015 Ford Focus... It's got, like, machine learning. Sometimes you hit the throttle because you want to go slow, and it's like, Oh, you want to go fast? And I'm like, no. And it's like, oh, sorry, my transmission is uh, a known quantity. Of badness. Uh, okay, good, good cut. So we know that this gives us a tenth. That was uh, a little close. And then keep it going. You grip it and rip it on this corner. Don't clip the grass. There you go. Now here, just follow your heart. Oh, we, it was so good too if we actually stuck the landing. Okay, we're, we're, we're competitive. We're competitive. This is grip it and rip it. Don't clip the grass. Good line. Turning in the air. Lost a little bit, but still very much at play here. 
This is the curve where we can make up a lot of ground because our old self did not do very well here. That All that movement, all that dirt kicked up could have been converted to speed instead. There's another good curve for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much better. So much better. Now, this is kind of just like prey territory. Oh! Okay, you know what? That's good intel. We got to be a little bit higher on the Tony Hawk when we come around. Understood and understandable. We're, we're neck and neck here. More or less. Clip the grass, but not enough to slow us down, in my opinion. Oh, this is going nowhere. <laughs> All right. We're at about 10 minutes on video time. With a little bit of a preamble. Starting to get into, I wouldn't say crunch time. I would say we're getting into clutch time. This is where we want to, you know, activate that clutch stat that's been so good for us in the past. We're half a second down. We can make up half a second. Now, it would be nicer to just be half a second ahead so we didn't have to. But I know where I'm, I know where I'm going with this one. Lost a little bit when we landed. Not enough to be super concerned. Good stuff. This is going to be a good lap. It's going to be a good lap. Author? Author? No author medal. Okay. But you know what? I, I learned so much on this um, that I think I know where we can get that author medal. I think we can definitely improve on the back half. And clearly we've already improved on the front half. We were a half second behind where we wanted to be. So just stay dialed here. We got all the tools you could possibly need to put together a successful lap. That's a very, very good start. Little high. I, I saw my ghost uh, pass us, but that's still super, super good. So we, we learned a lot there. I was really slow on the front half of this last time. I'm three tenths ahead? Almost four tenths ahead? Who was driving? Half a second ahead? What the heck went wrong, dude? Okay, this looks good to me. Oh, I was clearly wrong, but... Do you see how much time we lost just for getting our wheels a little stuck there? So this is like the first half of this course is where we can make up a lot of time. I don't know what I was thinking the first time through this. But really, if, I was just going to say, if we just keep it going and do what we, we know we're supposed to do... We're pretty much guaranteed to be a half second ahead by the time we get through. That time we lost a little. Our wheels were a little skiddy. That's better. Better. A little high still, but not high enough to be disconcerting. Oh my god! Dude, what? <laughs> they replaced drivers midway through the, uh... Midway through the course. I'm like... I, I can't lose in the back half and I can't win in the front half. That's weird. So we, we clearly need to put together... I mean, I underestimated my previous self, I guess. From this point onwards, my ghost is, like, actually Michael Schumacher. So, you gotta be, you gotta be dialed, dude. That's very good. Good preparation. Good preparation. Now, this is important. You want to be higher than you'd expect. And this is going to be a great lap. Probably just a little less than a second ahead. Yeah. But still, cut another almost a full second off. Top 59 British Columbia. Where are we at here? We got a minute 42 left. There is improvement, but there's not that much. I really feel like this course... I mean, the author medal is really tough. Which means that the author put down an awesome time. Or the uh, there's a shortcut that I'm missing somewhere. Which is just, you know, it happens. Maybe there's a cut that could save you uh, a couple of seconds and make that more doable. Or maybe, like, this corner has the ability to maintain more speed than I've originally thought. But I'm definitely... You know, the, the medals don't necessarily determine how I feel about the race. I look at this race, uh, you know, based on my, my racing game instincts. And I look at these corners, I look at our time, and I, you know, gauge how many preventable mistakes there were. 
That's obviously not a great example. And I, I look at today and I say, you know what? I think today was pretty good. I, I would consider today to be uh, a success. I actually feel like I drove better on today's course than yesterday's, despite the despite the medals not bearing that out. But the author medal is based on, you know, how the speed at which the author beats the track. So I'm just gonna be honest, I think we're on last lap territory. We had 28 seconds, so this, well, we're just going to call it, we're going to restart just so we have full throttle here, but I don't know if we needed to do that, but, and we'll just focus a little, okay? Just going to focus. Wheels slipped for a second there, that's, that's going to hurt us. Good stuff, I don't know how I lost so much time there. Oh! Well, let's call it there. <laughs> There's my time of 48.774, but still pretty good. I'm still pretty pleased with that one. Um, and even though we're only top 59, I think that that was solid. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I appreciate it all. And I'll see you tomorrow with another uh, Golden Goblet episode. See ya! Just got to go over here and then I'll say see ya. See ya. <laughs>